<clears throat> Today, I'll tell you the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events. Of course, many people craved this book, wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person, after obtaining this amazing book, ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Prognosticus, and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Ugh. Ugh. What happened to me? What is this place? <laughs> oh, so you're awake, princess. Huh? Bowser! Hi, Peach! All hail! You rule! Nice, dude! Yeah, Peach! Nice, dude! You rule! Hi, Peach! Yes, dude! All hail! All hail! Hydra! Or Bowser, I mean. What's going on here? Count. Yeah, um, okay, so the preparations are complete. Mmm. Then, sh then it shall begin by Count Black. Bowser, ferocious and fearsome evil king of the Koopas, do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife till your games be over? Bwah! Will I marry Peach? Are you kidding me? The answer's yes. Ah. Peach, noble princess, pure of heart, do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband till your games be over? Now wait just a second. You will explain to me what is going on right now. Bleh! Is it not obvious? This is your wedding, princess. But why in the world am I marrying Bowser? Bah! Hey, no grabs from this side of the altar, black old boy. I don't get the details, but the Count here has gone to a lot of trouble planning this. Just relax. We'll get married and we'll be in love. It'll be awesome, finally. No, and who picked this dress out? It's awful. Take me back to my castle right this instance. Yeah, um, being rude to the esteemed Count is sort of frowned on, okay? So, yeah, Princess Peach, I'm gonna need you to answer the Count now. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedded husband till your games be over? Uh, no. Gee, you sure are a fighter. But, yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis, sorry. I do. Say it now, okay? Uh, I, I, I do... Whoa, whoa, what? Now Luigi's here. What in the world? Uh? Hey, what am I uh, doing here? Huh? Is that the Princess Peach uh, over there? And that guy is, uh, hey! Blah, black. Yes, all precisely is written in the Dark Prognosticus. Already it is unleashed, the Chaos Heart. Oh, yeah, um, congratulations, Count. Halt! And just who are you? asked Count Black. Oh, well, Noah, I don't give my name to scoundrels. Just watch as Luigi punishes you for your badness. Here I go! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, okay? If you interrupt this now... 
Here's where Luigi rescues Princess Peach. Eh? Um, yeah. So, are you alright, Count? Fools. Pointless acts like these will only earn new pain from Count Black. Very well. As the Chaos Heart is secured, this ragtag group now lacks use. Um, so, yeah, Count. This means you may turn into a new... turn to a new page of Dark Prophecies. Open your mouth, darkness. Consume everything and destroy all worlds, as foretold in the prophecy. Black. Yeah, so, I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here? You gotta forgive me, Count. I failed ya. I've never felt less chunky in me life. <laughs> so our hero is real, yes. A force to be reckoned with. Nastasia, the prophecy. Consult it and learn where the hero will go next. We will lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees black. Yeah, um, I already sent Mimi to a site picked for that purpose. This pleases Count Black. Excellent work, Nastasia. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate the hero. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart! Count Ble alert Count Black when this hero is no more. I skipped the text. Yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that. But for now, uh, we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chunks, you got a sec? Yeah, go some. so some minions in the Bowser organization are still resisting assimilation. So I'm heading out to squash the resistance. And while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yes, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance, okay? Aw, oh, I... God, this really cheeks, tweaks my chin hairs. And gets grit in his grunders. Oh, hey, it's Peach, and she's... She's in subspace. <laughs> hmm. Oh no, I have to do a peach voice, don't I? I do. What? How did I end up napping here? Wait, didn't that na nasty Count Black try to make me marry Bowser? And then Luigi, he... Luigi? Bowser? Anybody there? Uh. Oh wait, uh, no, you're the only one of the wedding party left standing, it looks like. Hey, it's Hammer Bro and Koopa. So you finally woke up, huh, Princess? Oh, you guys. I love how she's so familiar with them. Because she is. Because she visits them, like, daily. Are you alright? Yeah, but who knows what happened. That was one crazy wedding. We can't even find his groomness. You remember King Bowser? Oh, and that guy with the mustache. I think he had a green tux on or something. Yeah, erm, um, Luigi. That's the guy. We don't know where you ended up, either. Thing is, most of us minions all got brainwashed by that Count Black guy's assistant. Yeah, everybody's half nuts. You're not safe here. We've got to clear this area now! Private Koopa here will escort you, okay? I... You guys make a break for it. Yeah, but what about you? What am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left him. Leave no Koopa behind. Good luck out there, princess. Hail Bowser! Farewell. Okay, lady. We gotta evac this zone. Let's roll. Can I? I can't jump on him. And I can't flip. I Yeah, I, I can't flip. Okay. Listen, lady. We're in hostile territory here. Move it now. Go, go, go! Okay, this is urgent. 
And we're playing as Peach, which is new for me. Yeah, but earlier... Oh, you give up. There's no hope for escape. All hail the glorious Count. Do not resist. Resist to his rule. You will love it. What's this insubordination? Johnson, I am your captain. Drop and give me 20. Bucks. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to tell you tell you that your orders mean nothing. See, they've already sworn internal allegiance to Count Black, okay? And now that you need to, I'll just go ahead and pencil you in for a uh, 10 o'clock brainwashing. You, you're just mess- or you mess- bleh. You just messed with the wrong Koopa. I serve Bowser. You tell this count. Yerk. Hail. Black. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there- isn't that better? So, listen. There are still a few problem Indians that haven't sworn allegiance. You be a lamb and round them up for me, okay? Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so she's no patsy. She has the brain powers. Oh man, this is going downhill fast. Did you see that? They even broke the captain. Look, lady, if they find us, it's game over. We gotta clear this area. Stat. I almost said SWAT. Okay, so what powers do we have? All right, if we hold the jump button, we can, we can uh, hover, which is nice. I kind of wish it would work like in, uh, in. Smash, where if you hold up, it would just do it. Or, uh, down? Yeah, it's down. If you hold down, then it would just float. But, eh, whatever, whatever. Okay, let's go through the door since we gotta get your stat. What was I was saying earlier, um, when she said okay? Not K, when she said okay. It's always bugged me how, uh, people abbreviate okay. I mean, it's one of the shortest words ever. And we can't just say the entire thing. Okay, there are two doors. Uh, let's go back up. I mean, seriously. It's there. It's a four-letter word, and we abbreviate it. It's just always been a kind of a pet peeve of mine. And it's it's annoying. Okay, uh, where do we go? Where? This is a bridge. And... Oh, snap. Was I supposed to go through the other door? No! 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 Dead end! Well, staying here won't do any us any good. Let's turn around and keep looking. Oh, turn back? Yeah, no. Your friend had it had it right. This is your dead end. No, I wasn't able to go through the other door. Uh, who are you, anyway? Fine cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. Bjort! Wow, he even got sunlit glasses from that transformation. All hail Hydra, I mean Count Black. Wow, Princess, you sure are lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road, and your luck runs out, like, right here. It's time f It's time you came on over and got with the program. Come and serve the Count. Never! Yeah, that's great and all, but my hypno powers kind of say otherwise. Just sit tight a sec, okay? Because I gotta brainwash you re real quick. Oh no, Peach is mad. And... What? What? That wasn't on my schedule. Where did she go? Well, that's really not a deal breaker. Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where she runs, since all worlds are about to fall. I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Uh, uh. You're awake at last. B where am I? Is this a human home? Ugh. Don't wiggle like that. I found you at the cliff base. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? I don't repulse you? I am of the tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore such an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day was the day our tragedy was set in motion.
Okay. A lot of story elements there. If you get a pure heart, you can choose to visit specific sections in each chapter. Nice. First to Merlin's place. Alright. Uh, did I intro yet? I don't know. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to Super Paper Mario. Last time, we defeated the boss by the name of Fractale. Even though he was completely innocent, and he lost connection to internet, and that caused him to, uh, get DDoSed, and that DDoSing made him try to kill us. But, uh, we still killed him, and he was evil, I guess, so we're justified. I can see from your faces that it went well, indeed. Let's head to back to my house so you can tell me the details. Please, step right in. Okay, let's go. No talk of that peach business, I guess. Wait, that book, that's a book. So how was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yes, yeah. yeah, so we did. Uh, we got a pure heart. Uh. Oh, such brilliance. It's the true piece, it's, it is a true piece of one true purity heart. Yes, we met L Merlumina, I guess that's her name. She gave it to us. What? what Lady Merlumina? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She was the one who wrote the Light Prognosticus to counteract the Dark One. Merlumina and those who followed her built this town. That is why we are here. M Master Merlin, but bad news! What is it? Get a hold of yourself, lad. Y you see... Um, 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 you see, a girl fell out of the sky. What? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the worlds? I don't know. Just, just please, get on the elevator and come there to see her. So it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. Can I read the light prognosticus? I mean... No? Can can I examine it? Not- wait, oh no, I need to turn around, because otherwise, Tippy will get confused and examine Thoreau. The Light Prognosticus. The Ancient wrote it to fight the Dark Prognosticus. It tells what the hero can do to save the world. Neat. Can I just read it and find out what happens? No? Okay, whatever. Oh. Okay, so they're running all over, and, and no one else in the town seems to care. Unless they do. Oh, hello there. Is this your first time in Flipside? We don't have any visitors. I got to meet you. Take care. Okay, bye. Uh, is this the elevator? Yeah, I'll assume this is the elevator. Alright, so let's take it back up to the top. Seriously, that girl couldn't have just fallen out of the sky earlier? So selfish. Demanding our time. How dare she? This is the elevator, right? Right? There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so I was just looking up at the tower, and she fell out of nowhere. Hey, it's Peach. Hmm, she does not look all, at all familiar to me. Who could this be? <laughs> I uh, know a her. Ah, what's the matter? She's a princess of Peach. -a. We've been <laughs> dating for years and now, but we'll never actually a marry. Princess Peach. So this is the princess that Count Black kidnapped. Yeah. Well, the poor girl seems to have a rough seems to have had a rough time. Of that we can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious, and she is shivering uncontrollably. I actually don't see any shivering. What could the pro her problem be? Maybe she's kidnapped all the stinking time. Oh ho! I know. Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor of Flipside. I am sure she knows a warming and revitalizing recipe for this poor girl. Once she revives, we will be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now off with you. Find Saffron the Chef on the first floor. <laughs> I sound like Sean Connery. And this is a little man. Hey, you knows what's happened to the sky? I hope nothing bad's gonna happen. Alright, bye. I'm pretty sure the, the forces of subspace are going to, uh, to kill us all, but I am the emissary of subspace, and so I will save it. Actually, did they really... Which came out first, this or uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl? This is a real question. Because if Brawl came out first, then they just copied the storyline. But if they didn't, then they were trying to re recycle the... This is not Saffron. Uh, this is not a chef. 
Because the story of Subspace Emissary was originally going to be a, uh, a game featuring, starring Rob. That's why Rob features so prominently in the game. But uh, I believe the ESRB told them that it was too dark and it would have to be rated M, if I recall. And so they were like, okay, we want to use a story because we have a story. So what are we going to do? So they ended up just creating or putting the story in Brawl. And that's why we have a story mode. They weren't actually really planning to have one in Brawl. They just wanted to recycle the story. Okay, let's talk to uh, Madame Saffron. Um, <clears throat> Welcome to Sweet Smiles. Oh, sugar, our dishes will turn that little frown upside down. What? A friend of yours is out cold. Oh, mercy. Well, listen here, sugar. She sounds like she needs some spicy soup. All I need is a fire burst to make that a pot of soup that'll warm her up in a jiffy. Some stores sell fire bursts, so just check the shelves wherever you like to shop. And bring me one sugar. I'll make you one tasty spicy soup. But oh my, looks like you already have a fire burst, don't you now? Aren't you the enterprising one? Hand it over and I'll whip up some spicy soup. Okay, this... She seems like she's southern. So, sugar, do you want me to create a, sh a dish for you with a fire burst? See, this was better. One spicy soup coming right up, sugar. Okay, now I'm hungry for spicy soup. And Mongolian Grill, because I'm still... I still want Mongolian Grill. Ooh la la yum, ooh la la tam. Sorry about the wait, sugar, but it turned out just right. Sip with a flame-proof proof spoon. Fills HP, 8 HP and cures poison. This ought to wake up that sleeping beauty, your sugar. Get it to her right as quick as you can. Alright, I'll ignore the Nintendo DS there because it doesn't seem to be useful for me now. Alright, so it looks like this episode is going to be kind of an exploratory episode. So hey, do you know what catch cards are, don't you? Or, I cannot talk today. It is very sad. They're so super popular right now. You haven't heard of them? Boy, get with the program. By the way, I heard there's a card shop near here. You know where it is? Uh, right here maybe? Maybe? Um, uh, maybe? Hi? Aha! Uh -huh. This look you are sporting! This is what they call in! Now that is for moi! I shall incorporate this into my next brilliant creation. Oh we. Oui. The trendy elements! I must add them more and more, for that is what top creators do. Alright. Hi. Let me talk to little girl. Papa gets influenced by new stuff very easily. I heard this one guy tell him that he lacks vision. So what is wrong with that, huh? Uh, vision. That seems very obvious. Let's flip? Nothing? Okay. Bye. Interesting. Just random NPCs that we can talk to. And, okay, there's a crack in the wall. What do you have to say? Hey, you got a sec? Maybe more than a sec. I've got to tell you about my boyfriend. He is the best. He compliments my singing. La la la, that guy. Lo, so happy he and I. <laughs> okay. You have a boyfriend. Is this? No, this is a girl. Please tell me you've tried one of Saffron's delectable desserts. They're amazing! I'm serious, they are so delectable. If you haven't tried them, they're, you're insane! Maybe we'll try them later, because I'm, I want food. I haven't actually eaten today, so I should get food. Oh, Mama, did I get some interesting info from a buddy of mine? He swore me to secrecy, but you look like you can keep quiet, so I'll tell you. And now I'll, I blow your mind. Eat mushrooms to restore your HP, your high points. Got that? You, do, you, do you hear me? That's some prime info, huh? Keep it under your hat. I get it because we have a hat. Oh, hello, sweet Gladys. Is the food ready yet? What? You're not Gladys? You're, are you great grandma? Okay, you're so old, I'm pretty sure your great grandma's probably dead twice over. In fact, you probably never had a great grandma because you were so old that your grandma was, was de dead. And and also you're 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 no one loves you and your parents are adopted. Yeah. 
get get wrecked. I believe that's what the kids call that. So, uh, <clears throat> why did I take the wrong elevator, you ask? Well, I, I, I didn't, you know, because I, I know the game. So what I'm doing is taking the shortcut. Is it shorter? I don't actually know. Is it cooler? Probably not. Was it necessary? Absolutely. All right, take this spicy soup. Ugh. Oh, it seems to have worked. Mmm, I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. You're making me hungry, game. I haven't had food today. Now I'm gonna have to cook up some chili. Oh, Mario, you're okay? But where exactly are we? This is Flipside. That explains everything. Um, okay, and, and who are you? My dear, I am called Merlin, and that is what is known as a pixel. Her name is Teepee. Come, come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you would tell me, tell us more there. Skip travel. Yeah. And then before I knew it, I woke it. Oh, <laughs> that's her. I woke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. And throw. Well, my, well, my dear, that is most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? I don't know. -a. Hmm, I suppose you're right. There is just no way to know. I just hope they're safe. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Merlin, what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next, so it is written. There are still more pure heart pillars to be found in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a pure heart in it. And when you do so, a door to the world containing the next pure heart should, will appear. And my intuition tells me that the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merli. Like Bestovius and I, Merli is one of the ancients. We are like long-lost cousins. Yes, I have heard that Merli has long guarded an ancient and secret treasure. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the Light Prognostix also speaks of her magical powers. So, we just need to find this Merli person, is that it? Yeah, that's it, so you just stay home and sit. Oh ho, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself. You've only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. Well, I just can't sit here and let everyone go off to save the world, now can I? Uh, yeah, you can, so, uh, bye. After all, the void that is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. Bowser, she's actually serious. So, I'm going, and that's final. I've made my decision. Peach has joined your party! Now you can control not just Mario, but Princess Peach as well! Cool. I guess we just need to find that next heart pillar. Hmm. This princess is headstrong, to be sure. How very refreshing. I insist you take this. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was... The, the, a key to the door somewhere in town. I, I just realized something, which I'll talk about in a second. There are secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the secrets, the keys to uncovering them. Quite literally, literally, in fact. Please, use this key whenever it fits in town. Wherever it fits in town. My intuition tells me that you should be able to use it very near my house. I will continue to read the light prognosticus and look for any clues that may help. I am sure that musty old tome still has much to teach us. Very much indeed. Now, M Mario, Princess Peach, do all that you can to stop the prince, uh, the Count's evil plans. Let's go, Mario. Come on, Tippy. Yeah. Um. So I just realized. Uh, when playing as Princess Peach, you can use her umbrella in a few ways. Press and hold two while jumping to float slowly down. In addition, press uh, that down to use an umbrella to guard against enemy attacks. When you want to change your character, choose him or her in the menu screen. Okay, so menu screen. There it is. Got it. So we can float now. Awesome. So what I realized, which blew my mind, is that we gave Peach spicy soup, right? In Japan, there is... Well, okay, I should, I should give context. You know how in America... Women and making sandwiches is kind of a, uh, 
you know, a, 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 a sexist thing that people say. It's kind of a joke because it's funny, but it's also, you know, it's not. It's a thing that we used to demean women, or it used to, and now it's a joke. I'm rambling on. Well, in Japan, they don't have that whole thing with sandwiches. Instead, the food of choice is curry. And I just realized that what Mario did is deliver spicy soup to, uh, to Peach. Which means that it was probably curry. Yeah. Yeah. I love this game even more. Where do I go? Um, you know what, let's... I feel like now that we have, we have Peach, that, uh, we're, we'll need her to get to the next thing. But... Okay, oh, there, oh, wait, wait, key. There's a key over there. Let's read the sign first. What does it say? Uh, M Mardio's Records. Sequential jumps, four. Sequential stylish moves, four. And that was against, um... What's his face? That was against... Uh, uh, mm, um... Uh, oh, Chunks. Cool. Okay. I, I was wondering if Mardio, our file name, would show up anywhere, but it appears it, sh it does. Just right there. Alright, so there's a, a fence here that we can open, and now we're on another plane. I still feel like we're going to need Peach. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a pipe? That's a pipe. It's a pipe, but we can't... We can't get in it! No! It's so close! Oh, I can. Um, but I can't do anything about it. Oh, alright, I guess we'll remember that for later. But there's a way to go... There's a sign over here, right? Once again, I would like to remind you that I am playing this game blind, so I have no clue what I'm doing. Flip side, outskirts ahead. Monster advisory. Interesting. Alright, let's jump up there. What's over here? Nothing. Alright, let's move on. Let's flip and go this way to the outskirts of town. Hey, it actually looks like that's the pillar. Alright, let's flip over here. And there are some blocks. A weird looking tree. A pipe, which I'll ignore. A pillar, which actually is not what we're looking for. This is not the pillar we're looking for. Odd. And a pipe. So I'll go down the pipe, because uh, because that's really the only way I can go. Go down the pipe. Let's see, where is that going to bring us? Hopefully not to more food, because this game's already made me hungry enough. In fact... Oh! <laughs> Oops! Oh! Oh! <laughs> That was a complete accident, but it worked out because we got a more lovely card. Cool. No! A more lovely card, and a Merlin card. Alright, that was completely accidental. But as I was saying, hopefully it, this doesn't lead us to more food because this game has made me very hungry. And I feel like making some chili, especially probably some get well chili, because I love that. What I do, oh, hey hero, feeling stomped, try flipping. It's pretty basic, and that wasn't stomped, it was stumped. Okay, so we can go that way. But uh, what I was saying was, uh, you know what, let's go down here. Didn't work. <laughs> Snap. When Whenever I'm sick, which I'm, I'm better now, by the way, as opposed to last episode, I'm pretty much all better now, but whenever I'm sick, I make this chili for myself that really isn't a good thing, but I love it. What I do is I make it, I make it really spicy, okay? But I also put a ton, and I mean a ton, of uh, ah, snap. a ton of uh, garlic and onion powder in it, which is not, once again, is not a good thing because onion and garlic is is a combination that uh. You don't really want to... Oh! Whoa! Okay. That you don't really want to attempt unless you're... You're feeling really, uh... Really... <laughs> lonely. I don't know. Okay, let me try that again. It is not a combination that you want to try unless you feel like people not talking to you or not looking at you when you talk. There you go. Because it'll make your breath terrible. But it tastes good, and it's really good for when you're congested, because it clears your sinuses. And it's really good. Probably gonna make it after this. 
All right, but anyway, we found the heart pillar, so let's go ahead, put that pure heart in there, and appreciate that the game is segmented enough that episodes are so natural. I mean, yes, this was a bit of a long episode, mainly because of those story portions in the beginning, but it's not overly so. It almost feels like it was made to be LP'd. Cool. And now that we've opened the orange door, I, I, I guess that's it. Wow. All right. I, I, I'm really, I'm really impressed with this game so far, because unlike most Mario games, which, in case it wasn't, well, I, I've never, I've never said it, so it wouldn't be obvious. I honestly don't like Mario games that often. Call me weird, but I like the level design. Sure, I really like 3D Mario games, but platformers I don't like because a, the platforming is pretty sameish, and also there's no story to be had in any Mario game. And so I really don't feel like I'm getting anything out of it other than frustration. I like platformers, but 2D platformers don't really re feel rewarding to me. But this game feels really re rewarding. There is a story, even if it's not amazing. There's still a story to cling to that gives us structure and direction for where we're going. Not just going through eight worlds in a very linear fashion, heading to the, the right every single time. It's... It's not the most linear thing in the world. It's puzzly, it has 3D elements, it has funny character uh, interactions, and I, I'm i liking it, which is surprising to me. So, with that, I'm actually not going to end the episode quite yet, because I want to use... Wait a minute, where... How do I do that? We, we had an item. We got an item at the very beginning. Uh, let's see, important things? Ah, there it is, return pipe. Yeah, I believe this will take us back to the, the the main doors. Once again, I've seen a Let's Play of this done, like, once. And my memory is too good sometimes. Pal, you're making people question if this is a blind Let's Play. Also, I'm really sad to end the episode, because I know I won't be able to play the game for another week because of school. Alright, but I, I'm forced to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm enjoying the series. I believe you are too because of how active you are in the comments. It's it's a fun change of pace from other games that I've done. And if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Also, with the direction that you are giving me in episodes, I am able to bring forth better content because I don't like looking up guides because I don't want to spoil myself. So if you could continue to do that, I think I'll just start mentioning your names in episodes because I am appreciating the help. I really am. And especially once it comes to side quests, if I don't really know where to look in a guide. I don't want to just go to side quests and look at everything. I kind of want this to be a little bit more interactive than normal. So if you could continue to comment, give me tips, I would appreciate it. I would mention your, na your screen name in the episode. If you don't want that, then just say so in the comment, but otherwise, I think that this will be kind of an interactive Let's Play. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. Next time in Pal Play Super Paper Mario, we will be heading through this door, <laughs> and I'll see you guys then. Neat. I like this game. Bye.